Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video was kind of not planned. Uh, it was very unexpected, but I still wanted to document this since it is quite big news. Um, before we get started, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. It would honestly mean the world to me. And with that, let's jump right in. I've been told I should go find myself again. You're taking my soul. If you've been with my channel for a while now, you'd know that I have way too many horses. The barn is almost full, whether it be a barrel horse or one of the lesson horses. I really just wasn't planning on getting any more horses as my plate is quite full. That is until I received a call from one of the stable hands with some pretty interesting news. Hey, this is Emily. Uh, I was driving to work and I almost ran into this horse. I don't see a halter or brand or anything, but he looks pretty beat up. I don't know how long he's been out here, but I think it'd be best if you sent out a trailer so we can get him back to the ranch and take a look at him. When I heard that there was a horse loose on our property, I really didn't have time to think. Runaway horses don't stay in one place for long, and if something spooks it, then it could run into the mountains and we'd have a bigger disaster. So I didn't hesitate to go get a trailer loaded and drive towards the forest. I met the stable hand on the road and it didn't take long to spot the horse. It definitely looked like he had been on his own for a while with cuts and bruises on his legs and his mane a matted mess. I tried approaching him assuming he had been familiarized with human contact but as predicted he just ran off. I was actually shocked at his aggression towards me. Uh, he was very frightened and clearly had had a bad experience with humans in the past. I spent almost an hour trying to calm him down but it really wasn't working. So, plan B was to basically guide him towards the trailer slowly but surely. It took a while, but we were able to successfully get him inside. The drive home wasn't too long, thankfully, as he was not happy to be in the trailer. I had to drive super slow since he was moving around and throwing a fit the entire time, but we made it home safely. I decided to let him out in the round pin so he could run, but wouldn't startle or be bothered by the other horses that were out in the pasture. As soon as I opened that door, he was gone. I was impressed by his speed, but he clearly didn't like the trailer as he raced into the pen and I was surprised to see he still had a ton of energy after chasing him around the forest for almost an hour. While he is a very flashy stallion and a looker in the ring, he's very spooky and clearly has either had a bad experience with humans or has had little to no contact with them. My mom thinks he's between the ages of 7 to 9, however we can't be completely sure until we are able to see his teeth up close. While he has a few cuts and bruises, he isn't seriously injured, which is a relief, and despite his lack of weight, he's surprisingly energetic and talkative with the other horses. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do just yet. I can't just pick up a horse off the road and claim it as my own, especially if he belongs to someone, so I will be placing notifications up at rodeos and around my barn to see if anyone claims him, but so far it's been a quiet board. I'm starting to think that no one is gonna claim him and that perhaps he was either a wild horse or one that just escaped and has, and has been on his own for a while. I really wasn't planning on taking on any new projects, especially since I have Chance already and the new foals coming. However, I've already started to bond with him as I've started to work with him in the round pen. He is certainly a character and his personality is peeking through more and more as the days go by. He definitely acts like a stud and is very, very proud. And I've learned he's very food motivated, his favorites being those little mints and also beet pulp. He is still slow to trust and isn't comfortable with being groomed, but I have made slow progress with him. I decided to name him Romeo based off his charming personality and beautiful coat pattern. I know I said I had a full plate, but I can't help becoming slightly attached to this guy and I think he'd be a good all around horse in both English and Western events. I will post updates on Romeo when I can and update you guys on his training progress. Thank you all so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. I know this video was kind of unexpected and poorly planned, but that's okay, it's fine. If you did enjoy, be sure to sound off in the comments, leave a like, and hit that subscribe button, it would mean the world to me. With that, I hope to see you all in the next video, bye! We've been talking for an hour we just can't find the end We won't understand each other I wonder how it feels to fall asleep